Anyway, I haven't met him yet, but the guys all really seem to like him. Lucy, this is so exciting. Yeah? So, you're the only businesswoman I don't ask. Well, I'm in business. Businesswoman? Well, I'm not. No, you're not. Ask what? Lucy's band has been approached by a manager. So we were just talking about, you know, qualities that a woman should look for in a man she might be working with. Well, I could do that. Martin, does it occur to you that your opinion on the businesswoman's perspective might be slightly compromised by the fact that you're a man? That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I'll get the cake. Oh, I'm a bit worried. Someone from Flair heard that we were having a little party, probably from Karen Springer. And they called and asked if they could send a photographer over from the gossip call. I told them it was just a little thing, you know, mostly just friends, but... Oh. What? Friends? I mean, we talked about this. I mean, it's not like it's an official opening or anything. No, 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 no. Uh, friends are wonderful. Friends are great. Well, then what? I don't have any. You have friends? Kitty, with a separation, you lose more than your self-esteem in the lightest spinner. Maybe I could pretend Angela's my friend. She is your friend, but it's Simon's last weekend, so she won't be here. Though, as I recall, Martin, anytime there are beautiful women in the room, you tend to forget anyone else exists anyway. Models are coming? Great! I'll tell my dad they're my friends. You invited your father? I couldn't not. He invited me out to dinner. Gee, such a big personality for such a small room. Such a big personality for such a small planet. You know, sometimes I wonder how I landed him for a father. I think that's a question for your mother. My mother's dead. Mothers don't die. They just disappear inside you and do it all from there. Why do these things always get so out of hand? <laughs> Here's the tape. Easy on the rap, some reggae, and heavy on the female vocalist. Dad. Mo. Kitty. Kitty. A gift for the hostess. I brought you a little something in plaid. Ta-da! <laughs> <clears throat> I found this young gentleman outside busking on the street. Well, never let it be said that a wine stock lacks a sense of occasion, huh? <laughs> Play on, son. Play on. more than life itself and sit up nights worrying about and would do anything for. It didn't cost me another dime. Nice to see you do that. Mo, I'm uh, Virginia Reeves. Our children work together. Virginia? Wow. That explains the gorgeous daughter. Virginia, I have a sudden urge to show you something. Mo, what would that be, I wonder? My scar. Bagpiper, something uh, dramatic. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The problem is, my dad only shows his scar to women he's really attracted to. Well, that should solve the problem. Yeah. Au contraire, never fails. <laughs> oh, come on, Martin. If ever two people weren't meant to Velcro, it's done. I like it again. Yeah. I like sure? it. I like it. Hey, this is disgusting. <laughs> what do you think they're doing? It's grotesque. They're flirting, Martin. What? No, this is not flirting. Flirting is harmless and charming. <laughs> Too much. No, just don't interrupt. Uh -huh. uh, the bagpipes? Oh, no go, huh? Well, we have sort of, you know, planned to... Oh, but it's, it's Marty, isn't it? Marty hates him. Sorry, kid. No go. You're out of here. Your history. Look, it's not you. I, I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, no problem. You play the bagpipes, you get used to abuse. Here. Uh, this doesn't have nuts in it, does it? I'm allergic to nuts. Well, then it's a good thing you're clear of Mo Weinstock. <laughs> 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 You're gonna love this one. <laughs> Look, I, I got home from the hospital and little Marty comes running up to me and he's saying, Where's your baby, Daddy? Where's your baby? <laughs> Thought everyone who went to a hospital got a baby. <laughs>
I changed my life. No. Boy, Kitty, you and me, we're quite a pair. I don't think our lives will ever be fun or romantic again. You ever notice how famous singers' managers are always their husbands? Maybe I'll marry this guy. Well, I think it usually happens the other way around. You mean, you marry the guy, then he takes over your career? Uh -huh. Not very romantic. What's the most romantic thing you ever done? I stuck gum in a guy's hair so I could meet him at a movie. Nah. I once let my top come off in a swimming pool. In fact, I've done that several times. You haven't. You don't really relate, do you? Well, I just don't think that's romantic. Oh, kitty. Something awful has happened. Lonnie Anderson made another TV movie. My father phoned for Virginia's number. I, I gave it to him a couple digits off, but that's not gonna hold him long. <laughs> Disaster! Your mother, my father. Chinatown. Your mother, my father. Your mother, my father. Your... Hello? Hi, Mom. What? Nassau in the Bahamas, Nassau? Well, <laughs> what can I say? I... Okay. Okay. Have a great time. My mother is going away on a dirty weekend. They can't. It's incest. Not technically, but I'm sure there's some awful name for it. My mother is going away with a man she hardly knows. Unless we forget a very rich man she hardly knows. Oh, a selfish, controlling rich man she hardly knows. A selfish, controlling rich man who happens to be our major investor she hardly knows. Kitty, Kitty, you gotta put your foot down hard, loud. Calm down, Martin. I mean, how long is it going to take them to find out they're not suited? Last time it took your mother 16 years and a baby. deserves everything he gets, but this is not a dog. Ah, hit the road. <laughs> so, I'm meeting him at the crazy bar after work. He says he wants to make sure I'm happy with the situation. What other bands has he handled? Have you talked to any of them? He says he wants us to keep it a secret for now, because we're not supposed to really talk about it. No? Huh? It's not till after we sign. That is the way the music business is. Okay. But a lot of these guys are pretty snaky. I know, Mother. I'll be careful. Hello, girls. Mom. Oh, swanky. Mrs. Reeves, stop. It. Woo, Virginia, I feel the heat. Well, Mo is Mo. <laughs> really, Mom? Eyeball a guy's scar one minute and hop on a plane with him the next. Phew. What's that? <laughs> I don't know which is worse, bagpipes or accordions. Bagpipes. Okay, clowns or mimes. Clowns are much worse. What is it about everybody hating mimes? So knee-jerk. Oh, I can't wait till my opinion has that kind of authority. Are you sure you're not Scottish? Well, I am very impressed because you've got that sound of Scotland coming out of your big time. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty?
We're thinking of moving in together. His place or yours? With Mo Weinstock? All right. Here's a list of the ten top reasons. I love Mo. Good, because when you don't, they call it something else. He is rich, but not nouveau. He has a great sense of humor. He's had a brush with death, so life is very dear to him. Well, Don, I've lost count. Five. He's a good father. I've given his son that's a stretch. He has a marriage under his belt. Very important, trust me. He goes after what he wants. He has large hands. And he doesn't want to change me. Kitty. Oh. What? Can I have some time to think about this? Well, why don't you just not think about it and be happy for me? Well, I, 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 I... I'm not going to sit here and be stammered at. When you come to your conclusion, call me. Why not just hug her and say, great? She's a big girl. She's just started to do things with her life. You don't know Mo. He's got everything organized, everything planned. He's going to expect her to just run alongside. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't she the mother? You don't want to see her get hurt. Why not just declare a moratorium on love? Maybe we should. I said the poets of the world have not suffered enough. It's like having a huge dream wardrobe right downstairs. Sometimes when I'm walking through the shop late at night, I whisper, they're all mine. They're all mine. They're all mine. <laughs> I think I look really good in this. What do you think? <laughs> Makes you look squat. <laughs> so, you're pretty worried about this. He's just a guy, right? Well, I'm gonna have Mama for dinner today. I still find it hard to believe men matter that much to anybody. Oh, Lucy, nobody is that cool. The time. I gotta go. I gotta go meet this guy. I'm late. I'm, I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> oh, three of them, 18. 18 years old. <laughs> uh, hi. Lucy, you forgot your knapsack. Sorry oh, to interrupt. Thanks. Oh, this is uh, Kitty Reeves, my boss. She was worried that you were going to turn out to be snaky. No. She'd probably like to ask you some tough business questions. Well, hey, the man's on trial. The man is on the stand. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Let's see. Hey, no, this is cool. This is good. I can dig this. I have no fear. I hide behind no rocks. Indeed, I can see I'm looking at one very perceptive female lady creature. Fire away, fine lady creature. Hmm. Uh, you want to know what I'm going to do for this very talented young woman here? And I say woman because I wish to say woman. I'm not afraid to call a girl a girl. I say what I see. Uh -huh. You see, a man like me who casts his nets wide knows many, many fish, many brightly colored fish. Uh, that's okay. Thanks, Al. Kitty, you probably have to go now. I'll walk you to the door. Okay. <laughs> I know he's not ideal. I'm not saying he's ideal. I'm saying he's ideal for me right now. He's very headstrong. And he's one of your major investors. Now, is that what's really bothering you? I would never let my business come between you and your happiness. Well, I'd never let my happiness come between you and your business. It's just moving in. It's such a big step. I've lived with men before. Short of the toilet seat thing. I... Dad. You've lived with Dad before. And no one since. I hope you're hungry. Oh, Kitty. I don't know where you ever learned to cook like this. You're a great cook. No. You never let me teach you anything. You've taught me lots of things. Name one. 
To get gum out of fabric, you freeze it with an ice cube and you scrape it with a knife. <laughs> you were always so mature. Even as a little girl, you used to make your Barbies go to school. Well, I just couldn't see releasing a bunch of uneducated Barbies into the world. Kitty, I don't want to be lonely. Mom. I'm sorry. I would have hated it if my mother ever said anything like that to me. No, I... It's just that... I'm tired of arranging matches for other people. I don't want love to pass me by. Go for it, Mom. You mean that? Absolutely. And if it doesn't work out, I'll be there. Are you sure? He's waiting for an answer. Well, can he wait till after dinner? I'll be very distracted. <laughs> Go. 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 <laughs> oh, I hope I haven't ruined your whole evening. Where's Angela? I think she and Lucy were meeting to go dancing. Well, join them, please. I'd feel so much better if you joined them. I'm right in the middle of a great book. Well, Kitty, you know what they say about the frogs in books. They can turn into princes, but in life, in life, there's some expression about... You know what I mean. Kitty! Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> She'll be all tucked in bed, eating chocolates and reading Flair. <laughs> Great, let's drag her out and tear it up. <laughs> here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Bored and went jogging or something. She'll be home any minute. I'll make us some tea. Hmm? <laughs> mm. Does she often go jogging this late? Actually, no, she'd never go jogging this late. In fact, you know, Kitty, whatever she is doing, it is safe. <laughs> Mad, unpredictable Kitty. <laughs> oh, forgot her key. And here we were gallivanting about till all hours, Lucy. <laughs> I can't sleep. Tea? I prefer a drink. Where's Small? In my place. Are we missing a stage here? He's sleeping. Are you sure? Because if he's acting like Martin, he's probably reading your mail. <laughs> he wants us to live at his house. Great! Oh, I'd be giving up all my security. Just keep your apartment and don't tell him. Oh, great, Ange. <laughs> Start lying to him right away. I think you get to know men by fighting with them. That way they find out what it is you want. Sort of a high school of the soul. <clears throat> Boy, you and me got real different definitions of soul. Uh, well, I'm older, dear, so mine's right. <laughs> Where's Kitty? That's fantastic. <laughs> what else do you know? Any Carol King? <laughs> Entire repertoire. But it's not exactly bagpipe music. What oh, is? Hymns and dirges. Well, I'm feeling kind of uh, spiritual. <laughs> it's a beautiful sound, isn't it? never really heard it before. Is it hard? I mean, difficult? Is it challenging? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I don't really have it, do I? I think you do. Really? The Scottish sound? Oh, no, actually, sorry. In fact, I think the one thing you lack is the Scottish sound. Uh. <laughs> Forgot her key. I knew it. 
Oh, I just love it when she does stuff like this. Any kitty? Kitty's not here. You'll do. Oh. <gasps> Hi. Hello, Martin. You know, um, I was really upset about this whole thing. Uh, then I had a, a talk with my wife, my ex-wife, and she was brilliant, so succinct. Really? What did Charlotte say? She said, uh, Martin, you need all the mothers you can get. <laughs> Though right now I need Kitty. Where is Kitty? 